Shreya Chatterjee is joining us live with more details on this. Shreya, this PCR van, uh, can you confirm for us whether they were on regular rounds in this stretch or were they responding to an SOS call that came in over the body of Anjali being dragged on that stretch? Well, you know, from the CCTV visuals, what we understand that this PCR van might have been trailing the car, as we can see on the uh, camera, just before the accident took place. But it's very crucial. The fact that there was a PCR van on the stretch, almost, say, 5 to 10 minutes between the accident taking place and the dead body being dragged for 13 kilometers, points out at the lapse that where was this PCR van, because it's, a mo it's not a mobile, uh, it's not a, a stagnant and PCR van. It's supposed to move around. That's established from the CCTV. So it must have been taking rounds. So if it was taking rounds indeed, then they would have absolutely traced down that Baleno car, intercepted it while it was dragging Anjali's body for uh, the, say, 13 kilometers. So this is a huge piece of evidence. This will definitely be submitted to the Delhi top cop who is investigating the internal inquiry, which is the lapses on the part of Delhi police. And the CCTV is one of those clincher CCTVs because of which those officials on PCR duty in all likelihood will uh, face the flag. You can see in that stretch, uh, the PCR van going about on that road very, very slowly. So it doesn't look like they were really responding to any SOS call, Shreya. It looks like they were on their rounds going about slowly on New Year's Day with no clue that this kind of a crime had taken place at all. Well, absolutely. That's exactly what we can see. Now, uh, the PCR van is seen, which means that there was a PCR van in the area. I'm mm -hmm. sure that if you're talking about 13 kilometer stretch, say from Sultanpuri district to the Rohini district, there should have been at least more than one PCR van in that entire stretch. Why did that fail to intercept the Baleno car? Now they don't have an alibi saying that the PCR was, uh, uh, I mean, say, taking around somewhere else. That alibi is also something that the officials on duty cannot really put forward. So very crucial piece of evidence getting to our viewers that even at the time, you know, uh, a PCR van, uh, I mean, just few moments from the accident take place can be seen behind the Baleno car, then remember what this scenario can happen. And this is exactly what we got in the, uh, that report, uh, Akshita, where all of us went out. Remember, there was this one man who said that even PCR can't do anything to us. So that's the kind uh, of, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, audacity that people also feel that be it a PCR van is there or a chick is there, they'll anyway go ahead with the crime. So this is something that the Delhi police has a lot of answering to do. Let's talk about also the timing. Uh, uh, what we're hearing, uh, you know, of the crime itself, Shreya, that it happened at about 2.02 a.m. That's what at least we know as of now, that this happened at 2.02 a.m. And then, of course, Anjali's body was dragged for several kilometers. This CCTV footage, you can see the PCR van uh, at about 1.52 a.m., correct? Yes. Yes. Well, absolutely. This is prior to the accident. That's absolutely established that this is not when the accident took place. The accident took place, say, post two. The CCTV visuals are very categorically establishing that this is prior. But even then, why is it important? The fact that there was a PCR moving around that same area, that same jurisdiction, because remember, we are talking about barely 10 minutes between a PCR van behind that Baleno car and that accident happening, and subsequently the uh, dead body being dragged for such a long kilometer. So definitely the PCR officials on duty that day, they will have to receive a flag. I'm again pointing it out. According to the Delhi Police Manual, 826 mobile PCR vans are supposed to be on duty distributing around 13 zones. Where were the PCR vans in this particular zone, which is the northern zone that we are talking about? That's something that the Delhi Police will have to answer in that internal inquiry.